What's up you guys, welcome to Tools in Action, the show where we show off tools, we don't necessarily go into super detail with it, or maybe sometimes we don't even show you them in action, we just show you, we're the tools, actually. Yeah, right? Actually we are kind yeah. of the tools. Um, you know, we don't know everything about tools, but you guys do, and we're all a group, and with everybody's input, we can make the best decision on it's these tools. It's about the crew. It's about the crew! Hashtag TAA crew, you guys. Basically we're going over Cobalt. Now, Cobalt is a brand that is synonymous with Lowe's. So if you have a Lowe's in your area, you're going to see Cobalt. It's the only place you're pretty much going to see it unless, you know, I don't think you even think you can get them on Amazon. I don't think, yeah, I don't right. know. Right, so like if you go to Home Depot, they got Husky. So this is a lot of new stuff they have for this season. You guys are going to start seeing it in the store for Christmas. You know, these are kind of good little tools to get for, you know, the guy in your family that, you know, stocking stuff for exactly, a yeah. present, you know, your mailman, you want to set him up you know, give him one of these or something like that. So, innovative features, good stuff. The first thing we're gonna go over is these new uh, quick folding loop back knives that they have. Comes in two. Yeah, it comes with a two pack and they come with titanium blades, you guys. So the blades on these are coated with titanium. I mean, I'm not sure what that's gonna do. You know, obviously it looks cool, so we're gonna think that it does better Right? Yeah, right. Exactly. But I mean, they are good looking blades, but we'll see. I mean, we'll put them to use and then probably write it up later. The bodies of them are plastic, but you also have right here, you can open it up and access two more blades. Think of it as kind of like a, well, I was going to say like a Milwaukee Switchblade or a quick, what are those? Fast? Fastbacks? Yeah, but it's not. No. This it's is not. a nice little one for like a box opening or something like that. Yeah. Well, they are actually. That's what these are called, box openers, right? No, oh, are they? no, no, no. Box openers are the ones that go to snap, they retract, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cool little knives, you guys. Carry on. You obviously it's always good to have a knife. I do tend to like these knives. I don't like knives in general because I get cut by them a lot, but I do generally like these knives. So yeah. these are some cool little gift ideas. Lifetime that you, guarantee too. Yeah. So if you have a problem, you can return it, and that's what's cool about Cobalt. But pretty much everybody hand tool world yeah. has a lifetime guarantee. If they don't have a lifetime guarantee in the hand tool world, I would probably stay away because you can even go to Harbor Freight and get a lifetime yeah, guarantee. Yeah, that's true. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Uh, next thing, you guys, we have these new steel grip sockets. Uh, basically, with the steel grip, what's the steel grip going to do for us, Eric? Better grip, right? Yes. Doesn't it? It's got like these little, I don't know, steel rods in them. Right, it's, it's basically cams and it gets yeah, tighter as go. you turn. So if you have a rusted bolt or something like that, you could put it on there. So there's a lot of play in there, but as you get to turn, those, uh, I don't know if those are called cams. But yeah, I see what you mean. But the grip well, actually grips it tighter, so it's going to turn it and get it out without preventative stripping. Mm -hmm. uh, we have tried a couple of these. They do work well. Obviously, I have not tried them on a rusty bolt yet, but once I find one, I will try it and we'll have a write-up over at Tools in Action. Yep. They come with this nice little uh, plastic socket holder, so you can... Organization. Yeah, hanging up on your wall. Problem is, you guys, once I take this off of here, it's never going back. I'm going to lose it. Yeah. So I don't know if they sell them individually, do they? I don't know. I doubt they do, but I don't know. It's a good question. No, oh, well, this is going good, Eric. Yeah, like, right? Look at like this. Sh nice flow. We got nice flow going. These are really These cool. These are cool. Now, remember back in the day, it was the Robo Grips? Oh, Remember yeah, yeah, Bob Vila yep. Robo Grip? It's the best thing ever. And then Rigid had them for a while. And then you got a pair and they kind of sucked. You could never get them yep. to work right. I mean, seriously, I could never get those to work They'd right. They'd always end up stripping the bolt. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but I mean, you know how it's like, I just could never get oh, them to work. Oh, I was tight though, the uh, vice grip ones almost. Yeah, those yeah, ones. yeah, I couldn't okay, get them to work. Yeah. So these are cool, dude, you guys, these are called the rapid adjust wrenches. Now everybody's seen these monkey wrenches that are rapidly adjustable, and you know, a lot of them are kind of gimmicky, but these ones actually kind of work. They're kind of cool. How do I they think, work? Yeah, I think they're cool. It comes in a, you got a six and an eight inch one, and all you gotta do, just squeeze, squeeze. it together and then push the button and that will release it. Right, and then with monkey wrenches, you don't really want too tight of a grip because then it's yeah. hard to get off. So I'm gonna put my finger in here and squeeze. And as you can see, as soon as it tension hits any tension, it stops. I mean, it doesn't put any pressure on my finger whatsoever. Yeah. And I mean, here, Eric, squeeze it. try to squeeze my finger as hard as you can, seriously. We'll go slow, just in case. Oh. Just <laughs> <laughs> Look, squeeze it as hard as you can. You can't, you can't. So the tension, I mean, they're, yeah. the, the tension. So that, I kind of like that. Quick release, really cool stuff, you guys. This is why one of my favorites right here. And this yeah, is the this rapid is cool. adjust wrench. I mean, that's a really good idea. Life Yeah, it looks like the handle though is plastic and this is plastic, but the workings in there are metal and obviously yeah, the, the I feel like it metal. is plastic covered. I feel like it does go metal down the shaft though. Cause it's just yeah, the it's weight. Yeah, it's heavier, it's heavier, yeah. so. So that's cool. 
Um, next, you guys, we just have some, uh, I was going to say generic, but your regular cobalt screwdrivers, and they do actually have a nice grip, and they do feel good. Uh, you can put a wrench on it here to get your extra grip to go around a uh, tight put area. A, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, a wrench right yeah. there. But actually, these are nice screwdrivers, nice, man. I like and I like these black tips. I always feel like when you see the, the black tips on there, I don't know if it's oxide coated or whatever, but they always tend to grip better. They do. Yeah, they do. You know, I mean, if this was chrome all the way, you know you'd be camming like, out, slipping. Exactly. So, um... Not a bad kit, Eric. Maybe I'll get you some for Christmas. Well, that'd be nice, Dan. Yeah. Appreciate it. I don't know. They, they, I don't know. They might be going over my three-dollar budget for you, Eric. Is it that high of a budget now, <sighs> dude? You're doing yeah. good. You're doing right. good, man. You're doing good. <laughs> you guys, speed driver. Isn't that what this used to be called? I think so. The, or double drive. Oh yeah, double drive. The double driver. The double driver came on the scene. You guys, it was one of the Just biggest hits percent. ever. Um, it is a big bulky screwdriver, but basically how it works you guys you're gonna hold that cam or that centerpiece and you're as you go back and forth It's gonna drive and it does do it faster than a regular screwdriver, but you don't get the torque I yeah. feel you know because I feel like the gearing is just for speed not for torque. Yeah, it's but, nice though like Yeah, it. the cool thing about this one. Yeah, how do you get that out push forward? This blue one just pushed down. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So it and has kind of like a yeah, that's like cool. an impact wrench kind of or an impact uh, yeah. driver. Single handed. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool stuff. So basically, they're going to their like thirty. This is a thirty-five in one, but these are separate, so these don't fit in here. So, they will so it's get not lost. really a thirty-five yeah. in one. It's you know, one, two, three, four, five. So ten, twenty-five in one. Well, there's some in the handle too. No, I know. Oh. That's what I'm saying. 25 one, because there's 10 here. So obviously, oh no, these would count Double as 20. Yeah. yeah, they would count as 20. So really, there's only 15 in the handle. Okay. So still, cool stuff. Good socket or socket. Good idea for the man in your family, even the woman. Just you know, everybody loves tool gadgets. Oh yeah. I yeah. love going to these yeah. places and just seeing them on the shelf. And if the price is right, I'm gonna buy it. I don't know what the price is on the top of my head because they change constantly. But I would pay probably. $9.99 would be nice, but I know it's going to be more like $19.99. Yeah. It's probably $24.99. It's probably $24.99, I bet you. You think so? I don't know, because you know when Christmas comes, you know people are going to be buying that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Um, you guys, uh, back here, these sockets. I love these sockets from Cobalt. They're, they're knurled on the edges here, and I don't know how that helps at all, but it just gives it a, like a really nice look to it. And I've really had a like good look with sockets, these yeah. sockets. I've, these are my go-to sockets. One thing that I really don't like about them though is the way they're packaged in the case because, oh, these ones come off. The other ones had to like snap yeah. off and break. Oh, these ones oh, come off. Nice. Okay, so they fixed it. Cause the other ones, you guys, we had to break them off and then it was broken off. So, wow, good job, uh, Lowe's Cobalt. Thank you. You're welcome. The okay, last, next, please. you guys. Gear wrench. Go back to the days of gear wrench. They were the first one with the uh, ratcheting wrench and everybody was like, whoa. Well, everybody does it now. Now we have Cobalt that's come out with it. You know, are they better than the gear wrench or anything like that? Or are they better than any other brand that you see? Probably not, but the price is good, you know? I mean, they're they're not priced like snap-on prices or anything like that. And yeah. they're available at Lowe's. Now, and it's cool because they got blue, you can see right away from holy blue, cow, they got blue Eric. rings. Blue rings uh, for metric. Holy the red cow, ones, Eric. SAE. What? Dude, roll that. It's 72. It's a 72 tooth. I think a lot of them are going with a 100 tooth now. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, there's no ratcheting. Feel that. There's zero ratcheting. Wow, there's actually no play whatsoever. Yeah. yeah there's no play. So as so, soon as I go forward. But they don't they don't tout it as a better angle. But I feel like you're gonna get a really good angle on that. It yeah, almost, there's there, absolutely no play. As soon as I go forward a little no, bit. No, there's no teeth. There's no ratchet. I don't feel any why teeth does it say in there. 72. Where tooth. does it say 72? 72 tooth ratcheting. Where? Right here. 72 tooth ratcheting. Well this one doesn't. No. Oh they're that's separate. gearless. They're different. Okay. Gearless. Okay. I see. So these okay, these ones are ranch. It's a roller bearing. It's a ball bearing. Wow, wow, that's cool. I wonder how long these are gonna last though. I don't know. They should have lifetime guarantee. Holy cow! If they don't. That is cool. I that like is that. really cool, you guys. So it's a big ball bearing in there. Why didn't somebody a whole think bunch about of that? Them. So it must be when you're turning it, you're rolling freely, and then when you go right, there's got to be some kind of binding in there. There has to be because it's instant. There's We're gonna not have to like put some on pressure. this one. There's, you can feel the play in there. Right. Like on the ratio ones, there's absolutely no but play in there. But not this. only that, there's like, you can like turn this at like one degree. Yeah. 
You guys, if you hear that scanner in the background, it's a scanner we just got. We're just testing battery life on it. We're doing it for Amazon, an Amazon review coming up. I'll turn it down. Wow, that is cool. I really like that. Yeah, that's this actually is cool, man. that's actually really. I mean, and it's crazy. I just said gearless ratcheting. It didn't jump out at us. No. Cool. Good stuff, Eric. You can have some of those for Christmas. Those, uh, those thanks, are for man. you. And Look you guys, this. let's go back to Z. We'll finalize this out. Oh, we got two more. We got another thing too over here also. What? This thing down here. Oh Impressor. yeah. You guys, Cobalt is really up in the game this year. So um, obviously you guys saw we went to Vegas. We did their 24 volt max products. So now they have, obviously they're coming out with more. They promised us they would come out with more. They have a hammer drill, a grinder, and they also have an oscillating tool, oscillating tool which is out. not out yet. So this is their grinder. 24 volts. We're not going to show it actually, you guys. It's a grinder. I think we already did. We already did like the drill, didn't we? Not the hammer drill. Well. But we used them at the event. You know, I mean, it's a price point you're looking at, you guys. You're not looking at performance. You know, if you're a contractor, you're out. I mean, it's got a good feature right here. Look. Removable yeah. cap to keep the dust I out. I like this too from drill, drive, and hammer mode. Either side. And then you can see right at the top what you're in. Yeah, personally, I think they're good, you know? I mean, Husky does not offer no, a no, no. Uh, power tool brand, but that's when you ju jump into R Rigid or Ryobi. Now, these are gonna be priced around the same price as the Ryobi and the Rigid, but the one thing Cobalt is now is they've designed it for the pros. So they're definitely going for the pro market. Now, if I'm a pro, you know, obviously, do I wanna get a Milwaukee, a DeWalt, a Makita, or am I gonna go with this, which is a lot less expensive, but it's gonna give you close to the same power. Now, obviously, guys, we could sit here and go through all the hammer drills specs out there and, and tell you specs and this is that, you know. Go to the store, feel it in your hands, see if you like it, buy it, go use it. If you don't like it, return it, you know? That's exactly. the only way we can tell you guys to really test this stuff out. And they make a nice circular saw. I like their saw. They make a nice circular saw. Now, as for longevity, we can't really tell because obviously these are new to market and we haven't had that, had them out in the field. But I do have some out with uh, some guys right now. Construction, Bob and his construction yeah. guys are using them. So uh, we're going to get some feedback on them, do a write-up over at Tools in Action. But Metal Chuck, I mean... Four amp hour batteries. Yeah, four amp hour batteries. It's pretty cool, man. I like it. I like the grip. I really like this gen versus the last gen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Well, I mean, not 100%. only that, they went an extra four volts. Yeah, that's true. You know, they add an extra battery. So, last but not least, you guys, this let's thing's bring cool. that bad boy up here. Can you lift it yourself? Let's see. It shouldn't be that heavy. You got it? As Eric has to go Get to the right. Ah. You guys, this is their new quiet compressor. When they first told me about this and sent it, I'm like, come on, everybody's touting quiet compressor, stuff like that. But check this Hold out. Hold on a sec. Okay. I don't think I'll turn on. No, you gotta let the hair out. That's not quiet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, obviously, he let the air out. Listen how quiet this is. And, guys, I don't know, the mics are literally the mics are right, right by here. the. So Motor. you can obviously hear it, but it definitely is a quiet compressor. It's almost as quiet as my Roller JC10. And I gotta tell you, when I leave that thing on, all air leaks. There's a leak coming out of the hose somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. I'll be in bed at night and the thing will be going off and I won't even know it. One, night, I'll, one day I'll walk out in the garage and it'll be running. I'm like, what the hell? You know? Um, so it's got the twin tanks on it. It's, uh, what's it's got the wheels in the back so you can roll it around. A nice big knob for your regulator. Um, I like up top, you can see your uh, tool pressure and your tank pressure. Very easy to see, very easy to read. Yeah, 4.3 uh, gallons, nice... you guys, 125 max PSI, uh, one horsepower, 2.4 SCFM at 90 PSI. Is that a lot PSI. or not really? Um, it's pretty good for a little one. It's not Is bad. It? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, when you start getting into like the high CFMs, I mean, you're looking at a big compressor. Like the rigid gas one gotcha, we did, okay. that's got like, you know, 12 CFM or something like oh, that. Okay, gotcha. You're going to be able to run DA Sanders off that, uh, air impact, stuff like that. But for the homeowner, a 2.4 CFM is going to be more than ample. And like Eric this said, is a nice, it's yeah, compact. I, like this, I mean, man. dude, you should really keep this one. You should put yeah. it in your garage. I think I might. Yeah. I think it's a good compressor. I I'm like really, this. I'm really happy with it. Regulator, all your pressures and stuff are up here. It's just really simple, you guys. Real easy compressor. Very nice. Yeah. And I feel like it's weird because I feel like... Everybody kind of followed Roller, you know, like when oh, Roller yeah, first rollers. came out with those little compressors, they, everybody was like, oh my God, they're so quiet, they're so quiet. Well, not everybody's got quiet mm -hmm. ones. 
So it's not bad, you guys. What do you guys think of Cobalt? Now, obviously, you're gonna there's gonna be the bashers out there for the Cobalt brand. There's Whatever. gonna be bashers for any brand. But when you're on a cost-effective, you know, um, situation, it's definitely a good brand to look at, especially well, if there's was, a lot of lows up by you, like South. I was gonna say, yeah. What's nice is you can walk right in there. and You can get a lot of different Cobalt stuff. If you got a problem with it, go return it. Or like Dan was saying, if you don't like it, return the thing. Yeah, you know? and, and like by us, literally, there's like eight Home Depots within ten miles. Oh yeah, you there's know the Home Depot in this town. There's one Lowe's. You know, I mean, seriously, yeah. you think of the, where's the Lowe's by us? There's the one, only one I know is right here. Yeah. Other than that, I do not. Know and there's one Lowe's. way down in Naperville, and there's one not Naperville, but down. Um, there's only like yeah, three I, I know, know of, Vernon Hills, Lake in the Hills, and I think there's one down by, uh, down Randall somewhere. Got me. Yeah, so I mean obviously, you know, if you're buying Lowe's in the South, definitely something to look at. You know, and you have those lifetime warranty with the hand tools. I don't know what the warranty is up the top of this. This is a one, one year. year warranty. So this is a one year warranty, which is, you know, fine. It's a compressor. It's yeah. going to do it. You know, minimal putting it together. So, you guys, Lowe's.com is where you get this stuff. Walk into your Lowe's store. You know, another brand that's, that's at Lowe's is Southwire. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah so you yeah. can get a lot of Southwire. It's kind of weird, you know, when you walk into these big box stores, one big box store has their brands and the other big box store has yep. their brands, you know? And it's, I'm not saying one bit big store brand is better than the other. They all have their good points and they their do. bad points. So, but for all the stuff we showed here, you guys, I would say it's a good buy. Mm -hmm. I would, you know, obviously. I love you, these ratchets. If you're Mr. Snap on with your $20,000 oh, yeah. toolbox and you like buying, you know, $300 wrenches, might not be for you. But if you're the guy that's just in your garage wrenching, it's for you. Tools next, you guys. Hashtag TIA Crew. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We're going to start giving away a lot of stuff on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, get it. It's just an easy way to put it on your phone. There's a lot of other people on there that you can follow. And guys, on Instagram, we're going to be doing other things kind of behind the scenes, showing you different things that we don't really show you either on the website or on here. So, you know, if you're not following it, you're going to miss out on some stuff too. So. Yeah, we, we were doing a lot of Periscope, but we're kind of laying low on the Periscope. Yeah. Um, just because I think it takes up a lot of effort and it's not kind of worth it. Yeah, we might try Facebook Live. Um, but other than that, you guys, TIAgear.com yep. is where you get the shirts that we were wearing. We're, <laughs> and guys we're, such, we're yeah. such bad salesmen. Well, no, you know what? We were all dressed up in our TIA gear, but it turned out to be 73 degrees, and we both had sweatshirts on, and we're like, we're dying out here in the yeah, heat. Yeah, so. we thought it was going to be 40, but it wasn't. So. And then, guys, don't forget, Power Tool Forum, go over there, a bunch of great people. Every month, we're giving away something. Uh, this month, uh, in November, we're giving away a Milwaukee uh, One Light, what is it, Radius One Key Light. I don't even so, know that. Are we seriously? Obviously, you don't check out toolsandaction.com well, because I sign we sign announced for that? it. Yeah, right? Well, one key radius light, those aren't cheap. I know. Wow, mm -hmm. where do I sign up for that? Because can I win it? Yeah. I'm serious. Toolsandaction.com, go over there, you'll see the form, check it out. So, wow. a lot of great people. All right, you guys. Tools in action. Oh, hey, let us know what you guys think at the bottom. Yes, definitely. Eric loves you. He wants to make out with you. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.